Let's take a look at how to play shivers just like Ed Sheeran does when he plays it on a solo acoustic guitar. Now the original recording is in the key of B minor and uses the chords B minor, G major, D major and A major. If you want to strum along to the original recording I'll show you how to do that towards the end of the video but when we take a look at Ed playing this acoustically he's actually playing it in the key of A minor not B minor and he begins just by playing single notes he plays the A note on the thickest E string fifth fret the F at the first fret of string six string five it's a C note at the third fret of string five. Third fret string three is G and it follows that same progression throughout most of the song. A, F, C and G. And he plays it in this fashion. Now there we're playing a cycle of two notes, doing a tap, and then three notes. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is a very common rhythm, it's used in plenty of other songs, most notably All My Life by uh, the Foo Fighters. Uses that one, I've got a tutorial for that, and other Ed Sheeran songs too. So it's well worth learning, and we play it twice. Do this tap where we hit kind of the thumb and tap onto the fret, the highest fret we have on your acoustic guitar. That's how we'll get that sweet tap sound, that really bright. Just kind of bend your wrist and hit it down. Do that for every chord. Two, Three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. When we change, we can slide or lift off and kind of hit the open string to cover that space. When we get to the chorus, he turns each of those single notes into a power chord, namely A5, F5, C5, and G5. Now if you don't like playing power chords, because they are tricky on acoustic guitar, we really have to work your fingers to hold down the frets here, we can do the open chord version, so just A minor, F major 7, C major, and G major, all just played in the standard ways that we're playing them. Let me show you those two options and you choose which one you want to do. So it's played in this fashion. So we have two strums that are open and then we relax these fingers on the strings and just keep the right hand playing down strums in an eighth rhythm, one and two and three and four and. Like one of the most basic rhythms you can play. But it's this hand that gives it the rhythm actually. It gives it the one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and for every chord. And then we can do the same thing for open chords. When we do it the open chords way, strum twice and then we need to mute and just strum the strings while muted. And on that last one there is one, two, three strums wise. Even easier option, just do the first two strums and leave silence for the rest of the time. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and three and four and 
four M, two and three and four M. And then the whole rest of the song is just a repetition of both of those sections. The verse section. And then to the chorus section. Played like that or like that. Now I did say I'd show how to do all of that along to the original recording, which is in the key of B minor rather than A minor. Uh, you could put a capo second fret and do all the same stuff that I've just showed you, just move everything up to the second fret position. So if you were doing the bass line, for example, just move it up by two frets. And then for the chords, you've got B minor option one or B minor option two, as we've covered, but either option that you go for, And that's all sections of this song, pretty straightforward. Let me know how you get on with this one. Let me know if there's any other new Ed Sheeran songs that you want me to film tutorials for. And I really hope to see you next time. All the best with it, guys. Bye for now.